firstly, kind of understanding the, uh, the behaviour and the context in which it occurs as, as, a, as a starting point, um, and outlining a couple of examples of what happens when you make kind of uh, erroneous sort of false assumptions of, uh, about behaviour and, and, uh, and jump straight to intervention design. The importance of being systematic and being comprehensive that these tools allow as their product of, of syntheses of, of models or frameworks. Robert showed you two um, uh, matrices showing <coughs> possible relevant uh, intervention functions and policy categories. So they are a selection of, of those uh, of functions or categories that might be relevant. So they, the selection involves an element of judgment, as it does for selecting which behaviour change techniques one might use to, uh, to uh, deliver the intervention. And the book sets out the appease criteria as a framework for guiding the application of judgment. So considering functions, policy categories and behaviour change techniques in terms of are they affordable to deliver, practicable, is there evidence of effectiveness or cost effectiveness, how acceptable they are, uh, any side effects and uh, do they advantage or disadvantage groups in any way. So it seeks to make uh, the intervention designer comfortable with the application of judgment that's a necessary part of the design process. There are case studies throughout showing how tools have been uh, uh, applied in, in different contexts to understand or change behaviour and indeed an entire chapter working through each step of the, uh, of the eight steps I just described. There's also a quiz to test your knowledge about uh, intervention functions and we intend it to be a practical guide. So at the end of each step there are work, uh, worksheets to, uh, to complete and there's a worked example kind of through each one so you'll see a completed example and also there'll be blank worksheets in the, in the appendices so it's intended as a, as a practical hands-on guide. The final chapter we talked about intervention design there is also a, a chapter looking at how the behaviour change wheel, combi, theoretical domains framework and BCTs have been used not just in design but also in the evaluation of interventions and to synthesise evidence as well and showing their applications in, uh, in those aspects. Crucially, the papers, the, the behaviour change technique, taxonomy paper, uh, taxonomy, the, the behaviour change wheel, started out as peer review publications. And uh, between us, we did lots of talks, we did seminars, workshops, and we were able to, in building this book and, and uh, kind of in early drafts, sharing them with other intervention designers and getting feedback from the workshops and getting feedback from colleagues from earlier drafts. So it's a, character, a strong characteristic of the book. It is shaped by users and intervention designers, not, uh, not just our, our own experiences. If you're interested in obtaining a copy of the Behaviour Change Wheel uh, Guide, our website is live, behaviourchangewheel.com. If you don't manage to get a, uh, a copy this evening, and you can uh, order the paperback e uh, online books now, that links straight through to, uh, to, uh, to PayPal. Um, back to my previous point, the, uh, it's shaped by users. I'm going to hand over now to Christina Curtis from uh, Warwick University.